Hi, what is supposed to be? This is Wave Raymond over here. Today is Monday. So happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. Hi witches, how are you? I'm so excited to be here before you. I had a great day today. I had the time to spend some time with a really good friend that is moving, is leaving, is being deployed. She's in the military, so she's being deployed. And I had a great time today walking in Mother Nature. We went to this beautiful falls that I have really close to where I live and I got to ground and I got to like really feel mother nature today all over me and the day is so out of me. Everything was fresh, the colors of the leaves are changing and you feel, you feel that the veil is thinning because everywhere you walk you can almost hear the murmur of the spiritual world. It was a great, great, great day. And I suggest for you guys, whenever you have a chance, especially before winter, even if you can before Halloween and before Samhain, go out, go somewhere and have some time alone with Mother Nature and listen to the silence because you're going to notice that the sounds now are different. If you're new, I welcome again. My name is White Raven, and I'm here to teach you everything about witchcraft. If you like to be a witch, and if you want to know how to go about it, uh, anything about spells, concoctions, herbs, and so many other things, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get my videos every week. Oh, witches. So I'm going to talk to you guys today. Today is going to be very simple. I'm going to share with you guys a perfume for you to wear on the night of sewing. I'm going to be making that perfume for myself. So I want to share the recipe with you guys because it's going to be and yet another way for you to really get into the energy of sewing of that night. The more the merrier. The idea is that you get to zone out and connect with the energies of the sewing. But before I go ahead and I start talking about what I want to talk about today, I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Never in a million years I thought so many of you guys were so interested in my oils, my powders, they're gone, completely sold out. My men mail them today, so some of you guys are going to be receiving these packages before Friday. I am super excited. If you want the Samhain oil, I have three little vials, and that's all I have. So if you want that by Halloween, please make sure you email me yahoo.com so I know that you want that oil so I can ship it to you before Sowing is an oil for you to honor your ancestors and for your rituals. And it's done for the night of sowing. So speaking of sowing, there's a few things that I want to share with you guys. And it's going to be the correspondences of this very special holiday. And I'm going to start with the colors. The colors of sound are going to be black and orange. You know, and I always thought that purple and green was added to that, but no, 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 no. It's black and orange. Black is going to represent the darkness that is coming. It goes all the way from bright days, very sunny days, and then the darkness starts coming in. But Understand, guys, that darkness does not necessarily mean bad. There's a lot of beautiful things that we can do in the darkness, like protect ourselves, right? And in the darkness, we all look the same. So darkness is a beautiful thing. So don't always be discouraged when you see darkness coming in. So the days are going to get shorter. The nights are going to be longer. So everything's going to start looking darker. The color orange... Well, when you look around at nature, you're going to see the leaves are changing colors, things are turning orange, even our sun starts looking more orange at this time of the year. So these are the colors that are going to be related to sewing. These are some of the correspondences of sewing, color orange and color black. The same way there's going to be some herbs that are going to be related to this beautiful holiday, sage, 
angelica, mugwort, among other things, are herbs that you can use to prepare some kind of powders for your rituals on the night of sowing. They are very, very connected to this holiday, and there are great herbs for you to use in any of your powders. Sage and mugwort and angelica are very easy to get. You can find them online, and if you need them, I have them, let me know. Gemstones. When it comes to gemstones, if you're a person that likes crystals, I have told you before, I'm not very much of a crystal witch, but if you like crystals, some of the gemstones that are really good for this night are going to be black obsidian and onyx. Pretty sure you can find both of those today if you want to. So there you go. Now you know. Deities. This is really interesting because now we're going to be talking about spirits and deities that dwell in thresholds. Deities that don't belong to the day or to the night. And those are the deities that you can use on the night of Samhain. Let me tell you some of the deities that you can use on your rituals on Samhain. Ekate. Ekate is a goddess of thresholds. She dwells in the dark. She's my mama. So she is one of the deities that you can honor and you can work with on this night. Kaliak. I pronounce Kaliak, but I know that's my Spanish. But that is the old hag that is going to be coming about on the night of Samhain. So that is a very powerful deity that you can work with on this holiday. Another deity that you can use is the Morian Matcha. You can use her as well. Another goddess that you can use is the Amazing Hell or Hela. That is that goddess that has half of her body's rot and the other one is fresh. Uh, that's another deity that you can use on this night. When it comes to male deities, you can use Loki, you can use Anubis, you can use Odin, you can use Coyote. So there's a lot of deities that you can use on the night of Samhain in order to use their energy to perform your spells or your rituals. And I have this book over here by Judy Kailis, the Encyclopedia of Spirits, because this is a great book for you to have if you want to get to know spirits that you can use in different occasions. You know how to work with them. The other day, last Sunday, I was taking a webinar with Judy Kailis, and it it was titled, If You Feed Them, They'll Come. And in that webinar, Judica Ellis was speaking about how we should be feeding our spirits and our ancestors. Because let me tell you something, and this is something that she said in that webinar that makes so much sense. Every single day and at every single hour, we're feeding spirits left and right even without knowing so. So why not learn how to do it properly? Remember, if you're having a day that you're having a really, really bad day and you're having dark thoughts and your energy is really low, that is what you're going to be feeding some spirits. That is what you're going to be projecting. That is like the food that you're going to be sending out to the ether. And spirits that are attracted to that food, to that energy, are the ones that are going to be feeding around you. So let's learn how to feed spirits. Let's learn how to work with spirits. Let's work how to work with our ancestors. Because we're going to do it anyways. Trust me, might as well learn how to do it right. So if you ever get the time, get this book. Maybe some of you guys already have it. And Encyclopedia of Spirits by Judica Ellis. And in my page, White Raven and Witches Layer in Facebook, I put the link of the webinar. And she is going to be doing a webinar this coming Sunday on familiars. Go to my page in Facebook, White Raven and Witches Layer, because I'm going to share that information with you guys in my Facebook. Now, Let's get into this awesome perfume. It's very simple, guys, for you to make your own perfume to have in the night of sowing. I recommend for you to put a drop of each of these oils in a little cotton ball and smell it and see if you like it. If you like it that much, maybe you want to put it in a spray it and do a little bit more. You can use it for yourself or you can use it as a um, spritz for your rooms, okay? If you want to use it as a perfume, you can do two things. You can do it vodka as your base alcohol or you can use perfume oil diluent and this is the one that I use and I get this one in Amazon and then the oils that we're going to be adding are going to be half part of pine oil then you're going to have quarter part of patchouli 
and quarter part of frankincense, okay? And you're gonna add a couple of drops of lavender. So let's do this. Okay, here we go guys. I have my little perfume. It's going to be my Samhain perfume and it smells pretty, pretty, pretty good. I really suggest for you guys to make it. It's actually very pleasant guys. If you want, you can put this in a bottle with a spray so you can spritz your rooms and you can keep it maybe to do rituals in your witchy room. I actually like it a lot. I hope you like it as well. I hope you enjoy the aroma. Again, test it before using it. I don't want you making something that you really hate. And enjoy it, okay? Enjoy all this stuff because this is part of the celebration that we have on the 31st of October. I can't wait until that night. Stay tuned, which is next week is going to be the last Monday before sowing. So I'm going to share with you some of the spells that you can do with some of the powders and oils that we have been making throughout this month. And I really, really hope that you have a beautiful celebration of Samhain, that you are at least get some ideas now on how to go about to celebrate this amazing day. And please, no fear. It's a beautiful celebration. Honor your ancestors. Remember, they're not here to scare you. They're not gonna show up and scare you to death. They're, that's not what they do. Now check out my website. I'm gonna put in there all the oils, herbs, powders that I'm going to have available for you guys. So please visit my website, whiteremedyatwitcheslayer.com. If you want me to answer one question for $10, tarot question, one question, $10, tarot question, please email me your question, layerofthewitchayahoo.com one question ten dollars i'm going to be and you have to give me at least 24 hours for me to answer those questions now this is going to be done on tuesdays and wednesdays only and that's it it is always awesome talking to you witches until next time stay wicked bye